Associate Vice Chancellor of Academic, Professor Michael Lassiken, other principal officers of the university, provost, deans, and directors, emeritus professors, visiting vice chancellors from sisters institutions, your royal INSs, top government functionaries, staff, and students, invited guests, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome every one of you to today's inaugural lecture. This is the 228th in the inaugural lecture series of the University of Benin, to be delivered by Professor Lesemo Constantine Yuka.
chapters in books, um, also chapters in uh, conference proceedings. Professor Yuka is the current secretary treasurer, that's a powerful one, of the prestigious West African Linguistic Society, was. The sectarians of wars is domiciled in the institution to which the secretary treasurer is affiliated, UNIBEM. Professor Yuka represents the West African sub region on the Paris based Board of Federation de Languages et Literatures Mondaine. <laughs> One of the things he will explain today. is an affiliate of UNESCO in charge of promoting languages, literatures, and culture. Professor Yuka has been appointed to chair the West African Orality Panel for UNESCO Group Bridges in Vienna, Austria in July 2020. He is a member of the Exalted Nigeria Academy of Letters, member of the Linguistic Association of Nigeria, Member Southeast African Languages and Literatures Forum, guest editor of the International Journal of Language Studies, editor in chief of the Journal of Linguistic Studies, editor for Cambridge Scholars Publishing. Professor Yuka sits in the Council of the West African Linguistic Society, the advisory board of the Values Journal of West African Languages, and the Nigerian Journal of Humanities. He is a strong advocate of the use of indigenous languages in education and has contributed immensely to the development of contemporary linguistics, any several prestigious awards and recognition from various organizations and institutions. And I hope you will hear what he will say today. He is happily married to Mrs. Divya Ayemeke Yuka, and their union is blessed with three children. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to invite Professor Lanzelmo Constantine Yuka, a professor of linguistic study, to deliver his inaugural lecture.
Professor F. F. O. Oruense for approving the delivery of this lecture. My PhD supervisor, my PhD supervisor, Reverend Sister Dr. Mary Angela Uwalaka is not with us here today because she died on the 3rd of December 2006. She was a distinguished researcher, a devoted religious woman who taught me how to ceaselessly question linguistic data. She inculcated into me the virtue of patience and loyalty. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Professor Francis Eburari is the current president of the Nigerian Academy of Letters. He did not only teach me, he equally supervised my master's dissertation in the University of Ibadan. He has continuously encouraged and guided my career towards fruition. Professor A. H. Anfani read and corrected the first draft of my PhD thesis. He has been a big brother to me from that day till today. One early morning on September, on the 1st of September, September 1998, Professor B. A. Okolo and Professor O. G. Moye warmly welcomed me into the Department of Linguistics and African Languages in the University of Benin. These two gentlemen have protected my interest unceasingly since that day. I'm indebted to Professor and Mrs. Matthew Sidi, who have consistently picked up my challenges and even my paths. Emeritus Professor L. I. Rojobu and Professor Mrs. C. A. Rojobu have generously cared and protected my family as parents who care for their own children and grandchildren. I am grateful to Professor E. A. C. Wanley, who defended my appointment when I suddenly lost my job in the University of Benin in 2006. I am also indebted to Professor O. G. Oshu for looking kindly onto my family when we needed his assistance. I have enjoyed the trust and goodwill of friends too numerous to list. If I were set to set up to list just a quarter of my friends and beneficiaries, we will never leave here today. However, Professor and Dr. Mrs. C. F. Okoloja, Professor Ekimika Adebayo Ifido, Mr. and Mrs. Ben Oharanudu, Dr. and Mrs. Dima Nagui, Professor and Mrs. Adeniki Pakoya, Professor Harrison Adeniki, Professor Salomon Otai, Vitali, Professor Oye Taiwo, Professor John Kiri Amrebo, Mr. Fatah Emotioni, and many others I acknowledge here. I thank I'm thankful to all my colleagues in the Faculty of Arts, all the members of the University of Benin Tennis Club, members of the UP, UPTA and uh, Universe Staff, Senior Staff Club, members of the Goal 19 UPTA Club Club, the Cameroonian community in Benin City for the love and the camaraderie that we have shared and continue to share over bottles of beer. <laughs> I am especially indebted to all my colleagues and friends in the Department of Linguistic Studies in the University of Benin. We, in that department, we make up a huge family. We may have come from various places and, 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 and see our present there, maybe as an accident of presence. But ladies and gentlemen, we have formed a huge work family and I am greatly indebted to them. Professor Mrs. E. M. Warren and Dr. 
generation of Engar children is a huge reliable force that is remitting our poverty. My father, Mr. Engar Kwanifes Yuka, died suddenly on the 24th of February 2016. He was a restless, questing, questing foresighted entrepreneur and teacher. He taught me the value of hard work, contentment, persistence, and the asset management of scarce resources. He sacrificed a good life for the good life of his family. He is smiling at all of us from heaven today as I speak to you now. My mother, Mrs. Joanna Ponyuka, has never stopped praying for me. As a matter of fact, this morning she was the first person to call me. Now we had a long conversation made up interjected by prayer and she prayed for this event to go on well. She taught me my mother tongue at home and gave me the first lesson in the English language of school. She educated me on the value of truth, humility, justice, and respect for human dignity. As we grew up, she was the enforcer of the rule and spared no rod in my siblings and I attempted to breach the family moral code. The discipline she instilled in me is the reason that I stand for this podium today. I am thankful to the entire Anemike family of Inimorede in Delta State for accepting me as an in-law into their family. My children, Lucius, Barry, Joan, and my beloved nephew, Carl, have been jealously cared for by my wife, Mrs. Anemike Vivian Yuga, during my very long ending house in the study and in the course of my numerous travels to different countries of the world. I thank Vivian for crossing rivers and oceans to choose me as a husband and for bringing favor to my family.
native language, and sometimes it is also been derogatorily, derogatorily referred to as the vernacular. Some of us who, who went to school in the villages know how our teachers used to punish us basically by speaking our mother tongues, which they made reference to as the vernacular. Some of us uh, were punished for speaking uh, the, the vernacular. But in this lecture, the mother tongue reference is to the speaker's dominant language, not to the language of our mothers. The term mother tongue 